Hi, this is Karthik. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you about introduction to clipboard in Microsoft Excel 2010. Once again, I repeat the topic: the so introduction to clipboard in Microsoft Excel 2010. Let me see one by one. So, what are the objectives we are going to cover in this session? We are going to see a clipboard is a clipboard which consists of paste, cut, copy, and format painter. So, cut, copy, paste, and format painter. These are our objectives in which we are going to cover using this presentation. And let me see cut. Using cut, copy, and paste command in Microsoft Excel, you can move or copy entire cell or their content. You can also apply specific content or attributes from the cell. So using cut copy paste command in Excel, you can move on entire cell or their content, or else you can also copy the content or attributes from a cell. So first, let me see move or copy the entire cell. When you move or copy a cell, Excel move or copy the entire cell, including formulas, their result, values, commands, and cell formats. So to select and do this, if you want to do a a single cell click this cell or press the arrow key to move to the cell so for example I will show you so here I have created a example so you just click it okay you just click it okay so this is a single cell and the range of cell click the first cell of the range and then drag to the last cell. So if you want to select the range of cell, what you have to do is you want to click the first cell and drag it to the last cell. Okay, so first it's a range of cell. A large range of cells, click the first cell in the range and then hold shift while you click the last cell in the range. You can scroll to make the last cell visible. See if you are going for a large number of cell, so you just click the cell and press shift and press the last cell so it will select right again I will repeat you select the first cell and hold shift key and then press the last cell and so the entire cell will be selected and to click all cell so use uh, control all button if you want to select all so use control all so so see all cells will be selected so control all non adjacent cell or cell range you select the first cell or range of cells then hold down the control key while you select the other cell on the range for example if you want to select the range of cell or non adjacent cell see you use control okay you can select this 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 so you can able to do the multiple selection by using by holding the key called as control and more fewer than the active selection hold down the shift while you click the cell the last cell you want to include in your new selection the rectangle the range between the active cell and cell that you click became the new selection right and if you want to select one more cell you press hold see it's a range of cells this range of cell see you can select a range of cell and uh, after doing this selection you want to do one of the following to move the cell click cut on the standard toolbar or press ctrl x right if you want to move so here will be having cut you press this symbol or use the shortcut ctrl x and to copy the cell click the copy on the standard toolbar or press ctrl c so here is a copy so you can if you want to copy it plus control C or press just just okay and select the upper left corner of the paste area if you want to paste it for example now I'm going to copy this and I'm going for an, another worksheet here the first cell the top as per right select the upper left cell of the paste area here you paste it right so this is how you want to do cut copy paste and tips to move or copy a selection to a different worksheet or workbook click another worksheet tab or switch to another workbook then select the upper left cell of the paste area now I'm going to open an Excel 
Ok. So here you paste it. So here the first cell you want to paste it. So move or copy the entire cell by using mouse. So to do this mouse a single cell. Click the cell or press the arrow keys to move the cell. A range of cell. Click the first cell and then drag to the last cell as we discussed. Click the first cell in the range and then hold the shift key. Click the last cell in the range. You can scroll to make the last cell visible. And if you want to select, use the control alt button. And non adjacent cell, you use the control button, control key. And hold shift key if you are going for multiple range. Okay, so here I will teach you. Okay, this is a single selection. If you want to just drag it, it's a multiple selection. And non adjacent cell, you hold control key. You can able to select multiple selection okay and shift okay to range a hold to range of selection right this is shift and paste depending on the data you are copying you will see the different option displayed in your paste on open gallery see see when you open this you can able to see different paste criteria so paste is so a formula and formula numbering format and this keep source formatting and this one is no border and this one is keep source column width and this one is transpose and this one is values and values and numbers formatting values and source formatting formatting paste link and paste picture and link picture so these are the various option depending upon our requirement you can able to use this option okay so I'm going for next sheet and I'm going to use this paste option okay so for example option keep source basic copy text without any formatting changes and merge apply the font size and style to the paste text to maintain the uniformity in the document and keep text only the paste text place only no formatting picture paste the copy copy graphics as picture set as default paste link to advanced word option screen with cut copy paste options so these are the various option and us uh, and where you can able to see on home tab in clipboard group click format painting so what is the use of format painting right if you want to select the te shape text or worksheet cell that has formatting that you want to copy for example if you want to copy only the formatting not the content so use the format painter so so how to use the format painting double click the format painter button and if you want to copy the formatting to multiple selection okay so I will do this for example now I'm going to type something okay now I want to copy this format painting just select this format paint click here click here click here it will change okay format paint so it will change okay so this is how you want to use format painting tip you can quickly copy the column width to copy the width of one column to the second column select the heading of the first column click the format painting and then click the heading of the column that you want to apply the column to width you cannot copy the column width if a merge cell include the column from which you want to copy to the width so you can able to do uh, copy the column with very simply so using format painting only drawback is if the cell is merged you cannot able to do this perform this okay so I think you have enjoyed this video let us take an outlook once again so I'm going to close this so here I'll be having so it's a single selection and uh, using shift you can able to go for multiple selection in a keyboard and control right you can use control to go to select and range shift so in case of mouse it's very simple it's a single if you drag it it's a multiple selection use control to have non adjacent selections and you can copy is a control C and you can paste it ok 
okay it can copy and you can paste it okay so there is a different types of pasting so there as we've seen in format painting if you want to copy the only the format not the content use the format painting see here you can able to go for format painting just select this so now you copy the format so this is how you want to use the format painting that's all about your clipboard i think you have enjoyed this video thanks for watching this video thank you